Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy, uh, Purple Robba from Team Robba. So today, we're doing an unpacking video, pack opening video, but it's a little different. We are going with Magic the Gathering today. So the story behind that is one of my buddies um, has really gotten into it recently. He was super excited about the new set. So he's been calling me on Discord and we've been opening up packs over the camera. And it kind of just lit the fire under me, to be honest. So shout out to my boy, Going and Raw, a.k.a. Mr. Steal Your Girl, a.k.a. Lamone. He, uh, yeah, he, he got the fire going with magic. So here we are. We got eight packs to open. And I figured, you know, I haven't made a video in a little while because Yu-Gi-Oh! just hasn't really had the stuff I wanted for content recently. So I just haven't really bought any. And I was like, you know what? want to make some videos again. So we're going to switch it up a little bit on the channel sometimes now. So... We're going to do a little bit of everything, I'm thinking, here from now on. So, for the next couple of weeks, I think it's going to be magic. So, yeah. Um, today, I got two set packs of D&D &D set. Looked really cool. Some videos I watched. We got two packs of the newest set that came out. So, this is like nin like futuristic ninjas and samurais. I think it's really cool. Kind of other reason why it sparked my interest. Like, all right, all right, take my money. And then we got Strixhaven. It's like magic school. Yeah, it's just like magic set, kind of, like like magicians and stuff. So, just got it to see what was in there. And then the set before, they had werewolves and vampires. And I grabbed two packs of the van uh, werewolves today. So, I guess without further ado, we'll go into it. Spencer, when you watch this, sorry. I know you're not a fan of magic, but I had to do it, man. Oh, and also, I know you can't see the full playmat, but this is the newest Yu-Gi-Oh! playmat. It's a like Karibo-themed. And over here, there's like a Dark Magician Karibo. It's super funny, super cute, super goony. Highly recommend getting one if you see it. It's like 15 bucks, not bad at all. Super, super cool. So other than that, let's get into it. Let's start with the werewolves. Let's see what we get. So I don't know a lot about magic, obviously. So I don't know what cards are crazy to pull. So after the video, then, you know, that's when I'm going to have the stuff pop up if we pull anything crazy. So for now, it's just more of uh, just content. Just kind of opening them up and just seeing what we get here. Packs a little harder than Yu-Gi-Oh! would open. There we go. All right. So, let's see what we got here. Ooh, and what's cool with these is you get a little art series card in each pack from the set. So, that's cool. Some of them can be autographed or something. So, that's kind of cool. Nice little treat. All right, let's go. So, we're starting off with the island, our land. Looks really cool in this set, the art style of the land. I really like that. Crossroads Candle Guide. <clears throat> Uh, Celestius Sanct Sanctifier. We got Consider. We got Pax Betrayal. A Dreadhound. Ooh, looks pretty cool. Demon Dog. Can't go wrong with that, right? Infernal Grass. Foul Play. Bird of Mire. Ooh, so this is like one of the alternative arts one. We got a Harvest Stride Infiltrator, and he's a werewolf, so what's cool about these is they flip when it becomes nighttime in the game. So that's like his flipped look, his werewolf. This is my rare, the Falcon Wrath Pit Fighter. It's some Vampire Warrior looking to fuck some shit up, we like that. And then we got Famish Forgers for my Howl. And then we got a token, 1-1 one, one Flying Spirit. There we go. First pack, not too bad. Let's go into the next one. See what we get. Werewolf pack number two. Art series card. Ooh, pretty cool. Not, not an autographed one, but still very cool looking. Oh, nice. We got a swamp. I like that art a lot in the land of this set. I really do. We got a stuffed bear. Poor bear, never stood a chance. We got a howl of the hunt. Oh, camera's having problems now, of course. Come on, adjust for me, baby. We got a duel for dominance. Ooh, two werewolves going in. That's pretty cool. Clarion Cathias. Dissipate. Nebulgus Intruder. Oh, whoops. Ooh, old stick fingers. Looks like this is my rare, or it is a rare at least. Okay, that's pretty cool. Legendary creature, horror. I'm not sure if that's a good card to pull or not. But that's 
Looks really cool. Uh, Hound Tamer. Morning Patrol. Here's my actual rare. Well, the other one. Mask of Grizzlebrand. Ooh, Creature has Flying and Lifelink. That's really good. I mean, Flying, unless if your, creature, or your opponent has Reach or Flying. They can't block Flying, so it's just a direct hit to your opponent. And Lifelink is any damage dealt by that uh, creature, you gain that much life back. So that's actually really good. That's really good. And my howl is Gavany Silversmith. And no token this time. Old stick fingers, huh? We'll set him aside because he might be something cool since he was like an extra rare in the pack. Alright, just getting this pile all good to go. Let's kind of keep the set separated here. Alright. Old stick fingers, huh? Next, let's go into, you know what? Let's do the magic ones. Let's see what we get. The Magician Pack, Strixhaven. Ooh, right away, the way I open it, it looks like we did get a token in this pack, so we'll just set that aside right away. All right, Art Series card. Ooh, some like... Elephants and dwarves and stuff. I'm not sure what's going on there. Pretty cool. All right, looks like this is just a basic looking swamp. We got Inkling Summoning. We got Spring Main Servant. Professor Symbology. A Return Pass Caller. A Lower Hold Apprentice. Pretty cool looking cards, to be honest. I do like the art a lot. I do. I really do. Magic has some really cool art. Reconstruct History. Or if Quintorius Field Historian, legendary creature. So if you play Commander style, you could build your deck around that guy if he was good. Ooh, another one. Keen, Dean of Substance. Ooh, what kind of substance are we talking about here? We got Sigmore Witch, and we got Thrill of Possibility. It's pretty cool, different looking art. As additional cost of the spell, discard a card, draw two. Well, as we know in any card game, draw, draw power is amazing, right? So... That's good. And for the hollow, we got Heated Debates. All right. I got some cool cards in that one, actually. I like that. All right. School of Mages. Second pack. Let's go. And you know, anyone that watches for Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm sorry. It's just, like I said, I haven't been feeling the sets recently. So I just kind of want to keep making videos. So I'm going to branch off to other stuff. Um, if, you know, I'm not really feeling the Yu-Gi-Oh. So I hope you guys still watch and give Magic a try. It is, it is a pretty fun game, to be honest. It's a lot easier to learn. So, yeah, I definitely recommend it. We got a token again. Nice. Let's see. Art series. Oh, 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 oh sorry. Art series card. Ooh. That's kind of cool. All right. So, we got an island. We got fractal summoning. Scared colony. Tangle trap. Bayou Graf, so far just been green. Oh, here's some black. Oh, here we go. Troll Warlock. The Novice Dissector. I like that. Lower Horde Activation. Ardent Dust Speaker. Stonebinders Familiar. Multiple Choice. We got Divine Gambit. Looks kind of cool. I like this. Exile Target Artifact, Creature, or Enchantment. And opponent controls. That player must. That player may put a permanent card from their hand onto the battlefield. Okay, so you... you Exile in Magic means banish, you know, so from Yu-Gi-Oh term. So you banish one of their things out of the list, but then they get to set something from their hand in the battlefield. So they lose something, but they gain something. And then Spirit Summoning for the Hollow. Nice. Nice. All right, we'll put the Strixhaven over here. Um, we're going to save the new set for last. Going to do the Dungeons & Dragons one now. So I've been watching a lot of Command play from the Channel Command Zone. It's these guys that I'll play, they're a pretty big channel to be honest, so I'm sure some of you guys have heard of them. But when they did the Commander Battles with the d and I just like, it looked really cool. I have, So I had to grab some of the set. I mean, it's literally crossover, Dungeons & Dragons and Magic. Kind of like they said in their video, it's, it's like the same thing, kind of, you know? Same fantasy kind of world stuff. Ooh, got a treasure token. It's pretty cool. All right, for art series card. Ooh, that's pretty badass. Some big, 
dinosaur looking thing and fucking up the town. Alright. So, to start, we got a forest. We got a pixie guy. We got dragon's fire. We got a jaded cell, cell sword. Looks pretty cool, dragon warrior. Improvised weaponry. A hulking bugbear. A goblin morning star. Quick creature gets plus one, plus zero, and that's trample. So trample and magic to compare to a Yu-Gi-Oh determines it's piercing damage. So any damage that will carry over. Pretty cool. Uh, gets dealt to like the, their life points. Battle cry goblin. You hear something on watch. This guy's like, but begee, begee. Tiger tribe hunter. And we got, ooh, legendary creature for the rare. Drizat, do Odin. Double strike. Ooh, so when they fight, when this creature attacks, they swing once and then they get to swing again, which is pretty good. And then we got, oh, same card uh, from before, but we got the hollow version of it, of the Tiger Tribe. Nice. Pretty cool stuff. All right, all right, all right. Let's go on to the next one. Ooh, this time we got a goblin token. All right, let's see what we get. There's an art series card. No signature one yet. Must be a little harder to get. All right, so we got an island, basic land. We got a Knoll Hunter. Ooh, like that art. We got leather armor. Quip creature gets plus zero, plus one, and has ward one. Okay. Pretty much gives them, doesn't give you any more attack, but it gives you one extra life, your toughness. So, I mean, could be good, I guess. Uh, we got Dorfhold Champion. We got a plus two mace. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus two. Ooh, that's pretty cool. A lurking roper. What does that thing say? You see stalactites grow down from the ceiling while stalagmites reach. Ah! Kind of goony. We got Rally Maneuver. We got Monk of the Open Hand. Look at that guy, dude. He's just like, wah. We got Earth Cut Elemental. See, this is kind of cool. So this is when they kind of... So this is a creature from D&D. &D. And then what they do is they added like the 20 die roll. So when he enters the battlefield, this is what happens. So if you roll 1 to a 9, everybody has to blow up one thing on their board. If it's a 10 to 19, only your opponents do. And if you hit a perfect 20, as they would call in D&D, a crit, then you would... Each opponent has to blow up two things, which, you know, could be very good. Ooh, Horde Robber. Bold Bastard robbing a dragon cave. Then the... Ooh, looks like a rare is a wizard spellbook, an artifact. And our howl is the Ranger's Hawk. Ah! Nice. Like I said, I don't know pricing of this at all, so we could have pulled something crazy, and I would have no idea, so I gotta do a little research after. But, yeah, that will all pop up if anything is too crazy. Now for the newest set. I'm Kamagawa Neon Dynasty. It's literally like futuristic samurais, ninjas, and some other cool stuff. It It's definitely, for me, at least take my money. Um, If you know me, you know I'm a sucker for purple. So there's like purple and pink going on. And like, I was just like, yeah, take my money. You got me. Alright, looks like the token in this one is a pilot. Pilot token. Art series card. Can we get one autograph? Ooh, no we didn't. Looks pretty cool though. Some undead looking thing. Alright, so we get a forest. We got hair of the Ancient Fang. Pretty cool. Ooh, Moon Snare Specialist. I like that. We're getting like the... Uh, they're not called alternative arts. There's something else in magic. And that's why they look more like anime style. Which is pretty cool. Futuristic Sentinel. Ketsune Ace. Suit up. Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. We got Dragonfly Soup. Seismic Wave. Essence Capture. Life. Atasuro. Umaza. We got Blade of the Owl for a rare. Artifact Creature Equipment Demon. Oh, jeez. And for the Hollow, we got In Scissors Arrest. All right, last pack magic. Can we get something really cool? Or maybe I'll just even take one uh, autographed uh, 
card. Oh, no token this time. I think we're just getting lucky with the tokens in the last few packs. All right. So it's not signed, but none of the other ones had this, though. That magic symbol on the bottom. So I wonder if this is like a special one. Looks really cool. All right, I'll take it. Something a little different. All right, we got Tranquil Quell. These are good because it's a double land. So when it comes into the battlefield, you have to play a tap, so it means it's exhausted, so you can't use it. But whenever you can use it, it's literally a plains or water. So it's it's pretty good for that aspect. The dual land is really good. All right, now we got Silver Fur Master. Oh, come on, Cameron. You were just working. We got Imperial Sedua. I love the like anime style art. It just looks so cool. Favor of Juki. Gift of Wrath. Lucky Offering. Goshinta of Bottomless Vigor. We got Goshinta of Ancient Wars. We got Goshinta of Hidden Cruelty. Kamara faces Kakazakan. And it looks like my rare this time is Otarara, Soaring City. My hollow is Touch the Spirit Realm. Ooh, we got an extra card this time. We got Hura Onana. Nice. All right. Definitely got some cool stuff. Like I say, if you got anything crazy money-wise or anything, I'll have to do some research and I'll get that in the final video there. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys continue to watch, even though we're switching up and doing magic um, for a little bit here. But, you know, you can always like, comment, subscribe. I always appreciate it. Always like the love. And, yeah, thank you so much for watching.